Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. When the topic of mixing consoles comes up, there's one name that's sure to be mentioned, and that's Rupert Neve. Rupert's vintage designs dating back almost six decades now truly set the standard for mixing consoles and continue to be revered today. But in today's studio, our mixing workflow has changed pretty dramatically. Most of us are mixing in DAWs rather than through large format consoles, and there are so many advantages to the modern in-the-box workflow for mixing. But there are also benefits to incorporating that vintage analog approach in with the modern digital workflow. So the solution is to use a summing box to give that analog flavor and increased headroom to your final mixes. With a summing box, you take multiple outputs from your DAW and then use an analog summing mixer to bring those tracks together into a final stereo mix. You truly get the best of both worlds. Rupert Neve Designs has released several analog summing solutions, including the incredible 5059 as well as the 5060 centerpiece, which takes the concept even further with control room features built in as well. But now, Rupert Neve Designs has created the all new 5057 Orbit, a 16 by 2 summing mixer, which gives your mixes the legendary tonality, power, and wide open soundstage that only Rupert Neve's Class A analog summing can provide, and that's the box here to my right. There are many summing boxes that can give you a clean, transparent representation of your mix. And the 5057 Orbit can certainly do that as well. It has incredible specs, such as channels that are matched within a tenth of a dB, ultra-low crosstalk, and frequency response where the 3 dB downpoint is a whopping 150 kHz. And that gives you that wide open stereo imaging and sonic depth. But what sets the 5057 Orbit apart, and really what sets all of Rupert's products apart, are his incredible custom transformers. The Orbit features the same custom output transformer that was designed for the company's top-of-the-line Shelford channel channel strip. And it also features the same dual output design as the Shelford channel, where one output is 6 dB down from the other. This lower level output allows you to drive the Orbit hard to saturate that custom transformer while preventing clipping further down the gear chain. The Orbit itself, of course, has that massive Neve headroom, so you can drive that transformer into saturation for beautiful harmonic content while not clipping anything internally or externally. And this is the sound you hear on countless hit records mixed through Neve consoles over the decades, with all the power, the punch, the harmonics, and the glue of a large format console. But the 5057 Orbit takes it a step further by also including Rupert Neve's proprietary texture control with both red and blue silk modes. With the texture control, you can dial in the coloration, harmonic density, and tonality you want for your mix. The red silk mode emphasizes transformer saturation in the high and high mid frequencies, similar to the sound of vintage Rupert Neve gear. The blue silk mode, on the other hand, accentuates transformer saturation in the lows and low mids, which is perfect for adding thickness and weight to a mix. This means that the 5057 Orbit gives you total control. You can create a pristine, transparent mix. Or push the output hard and add in that beautiful glue and richness to your mix. Or crank up the texture control and pick your choice of the rich, saturated vintage vibe you want to impart. No matter what style of music you're mixing, the 5057 can provide the perfect console-style sonic enhancement. All this comes to you in a convenient single rack space format. You get 16 balanced inputs and, as mentioned, dual stereo outputs, one at full level and the other 6 dB down. Operating the Orbit is super simple. Simply connect the outputs from your interface to the inputs on the Orbit using DB25 cables. The Orbit gives you an output level control, as well as the texture and silk controls. The only other Orbit controls are mono switches for inputs 1 through 8. And those switches center those inputs in the middle of the stereo field, which is exactly where you'd want the kick drum, bass guitar, lead vocal, and other tracks to live, right in the center of the mix. It's so easy and fast to set up, and if you need more inputs, you can cascade multiple Orbit units together to create a larger system. But the big thing with the Orbit is the difference it can make to your mixes. Let's listen to some of the flavors that the Orbit offers. Here's a mix running through the Orbit set up for a clean, transparent tonality. Now we'll push the orbit harder to saturate the transformer. Remember, we have that minus 6 dB output that we can use to prevent clipping our converters.
Let's bring in the texture control set for the red silk mode for upper mid and high frequency saturation. <laughs> And finally, we'll switch to blue silk mode for more thickness and weight. As you can hear, the 5057 Orbit allows you lots of versatility for establishing the sonic tonality of your mixes. Now, I'm a huge fan of using analog summing on my mixes, and I love all the sonic options and flavors I can get with the 5057 Orbit. I think you're going to love what it can do for your mixes too. Thanks for joining me today, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.